Hi, in this video we're going to finish up our form creation working on our menu bar and our toolbar. Before I do that, in order to test these things, I'm going to put a label at the bottom for our message. And of course, like always, we'll call this LBL message. And I'll make the default label something nice. Welcome to Road Manager, whatever we want to call our, our application. Now, that looks good. I wanted to have that message on there because as we implement our menu and our toolbar, we could just put some messages to make sure that our, our connections are working, and then we can come back later to put in our code for all of our important things. So let's start out with our menu bar. In our menu bar, our first menu item is going to be our file menu. And remember we put the ampersand before the letter that we would like to be kind of a, a hotkey for. Accept button, and I want that to be my file menu. Now under our file menu, we're going to have open. I'll make our O be the quick key, and then we're going to have save and save as and I think we'll go ahead and have exit and that should finish up our file menu. Notice where I put the ampersands before the normally used hotkey for those specific items. Now in order to ease our code I'm going to click on each of these file items and change their name so for open, I want it to be MNU open. Now when we go to open a file, we're going to need to run a method. Let's look at our UML. We said that was going to be called file open. So let's create that event. I'm going to click on my events here. And if somebody clicks this, I want to run file open. Press enter and it'll create that method for us. Okay, now save. For our save menu, let's name it. So I'm going to go back to our properties and we want this to be MNU save. For our event, when somebody clicks this, we want to use file support. And again, I'm going to verify with our UML diagram that that's the right name. Yep. Now I need file save as. So I'll go back to my properties, name this, and then you save as. And then look at our events. For a click, we want file save as. Press enter and it will create it for us. So look at us just flying through here. Next, exit. Okay, properties. I want this to be named. And then you exit. And for the event, do we have this? Oh, we don't. We need to add it, don't we? So I'm going to add it right after this file save as. And we'll name this what? Exit app. How's that? All right. We can do this one when we click, click right application. Dot exit. And we have one of our, our methods already done. Yay. Okay, so back to our form. That finishes up our file menu. So the next menu that we need, according to our requirements, is the edit menu. And under edit, we should have add new, update, and delete. So let's put that in here. I'm going to do edit. I'll make that DB the quick key because E already is, right? Is it? No, we can use E. 
that's what it should be, right? So let me type that again. It is our text property. Edit. Now under edit, we said we were going to have add new. And we're going to have delete. And we're also supposed to have updates, so let me insert one here. I'll just move it and make this one update. Oops! No! Back to my form. Oh, look, it did all of it. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> Edit. Add new. Update and delete. All right, so let's fix up each of these then. So this menu item is going to be named and menu add new. Our event, if I look at my Visio Duke diagram, is going to be add new. Back to my form and to my update. Now my update is going to be named MNU update and the method that we would like to run is going to be called update. Lastly, our delete will be MNU delete And our event will be delete. Awesome, we've got those menus pretty well implemented. The last menu that we need is help. Looking at our requirements here for our help menu, I don't know if we need any shortcut keys, so we'll just put that menu in help. And the only menu item we're going to have is About. So for our About menu, we'll name that MNU About. And for our event, to make sure we have it on our URL, we'll name it Help About. Okay, so now we have our menus built. Let's do a save all and we can go now to our toolbar. For our toolbar item, there are some things that we'll have to do, so we'll be stretching this out a little bit. First of all, when we're looking at a toolbar, I want you to think about the kind of things that you see on a toolbar item. First of all, you have in our properties an icon. Right, so we're used to seeing um, this picture on a toolbar so that we know, you know what, what kind of thing we're looking for. So for our tool strip, we want to click on our first toolbar item and it will show you that it's a button. We can change that. But what, let's take a look at its properties. We have a lot of different checked states, whether it's enabled, Here's our image that we would like to use for that toolbar button. And then other things like whether we want words to be beside the button. Do we want any sort of tool tip when somebody mouses over that toolbar item? A lot of different things that we can use to make our toolbar more usable. So first of all, where might we find these images? I'm going to search for C Sharp Images 2017. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's second. The Visual Studio Image Library. That's what I want. I'm going to click on that. And let's take a look at what we have here. I want to go to 2017. Do I not have it? Do, 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 do.
Let me go back to my search here. I obviously should have, oh no, there it is. Visual Studio 2017 Image Library. Do you love how I'm thinking out loud? Now let's take a look at it because I want this 2017 one. I don't want the old one. Here it says a thousand plus images in the Visual Studio Image Library. That's what we want. And this is the current one, the newest one, and that's what I would like to have. So I'm going to download this image library. When I choose to download it, notice that there are many options for us. The EULA, the End User License Agreement, is one thing that I can download. And then I have options that I can download a zip file that contains the different version image libraries. Well, I want the 2017 one. I'm going to go ahead and click Next and let that download. Now, it's a really quick download. That's great. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to show it in my file system. It was kind of lying about how quick that download was, wasn't it? There it is. Show in folder. I want to see you. Now, this went to my downloads folder, which is fine. I want to extract it. And of course, when I extract it, I'm going to put it in a special place. So I'm going to extract all. And where do I want to put it? Not there. I want to put it on my ring drive and I think I'll create a new folder for it. That's the one I would like. I'll select that folder and extract. Now the extract definitely is not going to be that fast. It takes it a bit because there are a lot of images in this folder. So hang on and I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you that first zip file finished up. And look what I've got, a PDF and another zip file. So I'm going to extract this one at this location because this is where okay, I Okay, so we got the image library again extracted. And I'm looking at the folder. You can see there's lots and lots of different um, folders with images. Um, let's see what's add event. Gives me different items like the plus sign and the lightning bolt to add an event. Let's see if we just have add. It has several, several different icons available. Change my view here so I can see them. So here's just a plus sign for an ad. So great, lots and lots of different icons we can use on our toolbars. So let's get the toolbars finished up. Close this. And here we are, I'm back at our first toolbar button. And these are buttons that we're creating for ours. Now I'd like to name it this very first one should be our open, right? So let's name it tool open. I know for our menu, we named it MNU open. We'll name this one tool open. Now for our tool open toolbar item, we're going to be picking an image for that. But before we do so, let's check some other things. For our text property on this, I'd like for it to say open a file. And for my tool tip, I'm going to have it say open a file. And notice that just popped that right in there for me. Now I'm ready to pick my image. For my ad, I do like that one with the plus sign. So I'm going to click on the three dots, my ellipsis, and I'm going to add this to my project resource file. It's what I always want to do. So I'm going to import it. Now I am going to go to the location where I saved that folder. 
and all of the extracted items, and I want to find add. Oh, nope, I want open for this one, don't I? Ooh. So I've got a lot of different opens. Let's take a look at some of them. Open, open, open. Now I have a 16-bit color here for most of these, 24-bit, 32-bit. So whichever one you like is fine. I think I'm going to get this I'll just use this one right here. I like it. This gray. It'll look good with my purple. Okay. So that's going to be my open icon. I'll click OK. And now I should see that on my toolbar. One last thing. I need to set the event for this. My event is going to be our file open. Now when I press enter it's going to go to the code. So let's go ahead and put a little teeny bit of code in there to populate our label message so that we can test all of our connections. So I'm just going to put in there what method we're in. I guess I'll leave that space out so it actually says it. All right, so let's try running this before we continue. Now I have some code here for my file open. So if I choose file open, I should see that it executed it. If I run it again and I choose my open toolbar, we should see that it executed it there also. So we created that one method, file open, and we have wired it to our file open menu and our open toolbar button. Continue on with our toolbar. I want to add another item. It will also be a button. For this button, this is going to be my save. So let's name it tool save. I'm going to make my text property say save file and then my tooltip text the same thing. Now I want to pick the image for this. So in my library, again, I want it to go into my project resource file. I'm going to import it and I'm going to go find all of the folders that start with the word save. Can I get there with this way? No. Okay, you'll figure it out. Now in save, come on. I'm going to choose, let's see, that last one I did something that sort of had a lot of white around it, so I think I'm going to do, oh, I like this one, save 16xmd, let's open it, oh, okay, now for my save, again, we already have a method created for that, so I'll go to my events, and pick my file save method. Again, when I press enter, it's going to take me into that code window. I'm going to update our label message to say file save. We're getting some test code in here as we go too. Now, my, the next item that I'm going to want is save as. So let me put that in. Let's make sure we want that. Oh, it does not have a toolbar button. Okay, so we don't need a save as, but our save will kind of take us to that if we haven't already saved our file. So we're ready to do our edit buttons. So this one right here, this new button is going to be tool add. And for this button, I want to have my text property say add new. And I want my tooltip text to say the same thing. And let's pick my image. I would like this to use one of those plus sign images. So I'm going to import from my add folder. Lots of things to add, huh? 
I think that I want to use this nice blue one also. And I'll open it and make that be my icon. Now the only thing I need to do for this is set the event. If somebody clicks this button, I want to run my add new method. Now I'll go back to my form. The next button that I'm going to need, I'm going to add a button here. This one is going to be my update. So tool update. I'm going to make my text property say update load. And my tooltip will say the same thing. Now the image for this, let's see, we want to import it. And I want to see if there's a folder um, named update. Upload, update database. Well, there are some updates. How about update list item? That sounds good. That's what I want to do here. Now for our update, again, we already have an event procedure created. We want to use our update. Next, delete. Add a button here. I'm going to go back to our properties. Name it. And I want to set our text property here. Delete, load, and I'll make our tooltip text the same. For our image, I'm going to import to the project resource file. I'm going to find a folder named delete. So again, we have a lot of delete things. How about delete list items since that worked for our update? Okay, those should be somewhat consistent. Now, looking at my UML, we also need our help about, but is that really going to have a button? I think not. I closed out of our spec, so let's fix this one anyways. Now, our delete tool is going to have a, an action event associated with delete. I'm going to update that. Hmm, and it looks like I did not update our update. So let me go back to our form, click on that button, and make sure that I gave its click event a meaningful info. And I did. So I'll press enter on that and update the message. So our how about appears to be the only thing, hmm, and our save as, that we haven't put any code in. That's all right. That's kind of what we were expecting. So let's take care of our help about in our help menu under about. We've already associated it with this help about item. We'll do a message box dot show and say help about our app. So that still has some things to do. All of them do. Let's run it. Now we should be able to check all of our different connections here and make sure that everything is associated with the right event procedure. So I could do file, save, oh, good, file, open, edit, add new, edit, update, edit, delete, help, about, message box, yay. Now on our little toolbar items, my tooltip says open a file, that's great. Um, save file. Add new, update, and delete. 
great. Our tooltips look good. Our icons all look pretty good. You could do a little bit of finagling there. I might want to make this one blue. He's kind of green out there all on his own. But everything's looking pretty good there. So now, what have we done? What have we accomplished? Well, quite a bit, actually. We've got our form pretty well created here. We've got some event procedures already created in our code. We have some test code in those event procedures so that we can see things happening and make sure that we have things wired up correctly. So we are pretty well complete with our form development and the beginning development of our code item. So in the next video, we'll start working on implementing some of our actual tasks. Yay. Thank you.